will happen to a carton of eggs if you step on it? Can you make lemonade from candies? Or combine Snickers and bubble gum? Watch these and other experiments and tricks with food in our new video. The science lab is pretty busy. Tests, experiments, formulas. There are two great scientists on guard of the scientific progress, Dr. Botany and Professor Adam. Dr. Botany is pretty sure she is on the verge of a major breakthrough in her research. She just needs to find the last missing element. Professor Adam writes down all the results. They are very close to the main invention. Well, it's time to get a snack. Even great scientists need to restock their energy supply. Botany suggests ordering sushi. Okay, but why should we wait for the delivery if I can make sushi right in the lab? I need gummy candies and light marshmallow. Color sugar paste with black food coloring. Roll it out and cut it into strips. Cut up a white gummy. Put two red stick candies on top and cut off a piece of green jelly candy. Wrap the jelly filling in a strip of the black sugar paste. Make a few rolls in this way. Use gummy candies of different colors. Cut up white marshmallow. Put a piece of red jelly candy on top of it and wind a thin strip of black sugar paste around it. Assemble a sweet sushi set. Lunch is ready. Dr. Botany starts eating eagerly, except that the super hard wood chopsticks are difficult to open on the first try. She tastes the sushi. Wait, where's the taste of salmon? It seems it's been changed out for gummy candies. Still, it's not bad. Botany likes sweet sushi. The colleagues eat all of the gummy rolls. Lunch and dessert at the same time. Dr. Botany has a brilliant idea to combine Snickers and bubble gum, though the magic trick doesn't work. Then Professor Adams suggests implementing a different scientific method. We need to calculate the formula of chocolate and bubble gum combination and add a missing ingredient. It's flavoring. Cut the chocolate coating off a Snickers bar. Melt white confectionery glaze in a double boiler. Add pink food coloring and mix it. And add a missing ingredient. It's flavoring. Cover the bar with the pink glaze. Let it harden. Print a Snickers wrapper with a pink background. Cover it with clear tape. Wrap up the bar. Hot glue. Cut the edge to make a zigzag. Hurrah! We've got pink Snickers. It smells like sweet bubble gum. And there's a real Snickers bar inside, though covered with pink glaze. Dr. Botany enjoys tasting a new chemical invention. Hey, doctor, don't eat that entire experimental material. Leave some for me and for the science. Professor Adam comes up with a new ice experiment. She has already prepared all the needed calculations and theoretical materials. Perhaps ice is not only for skating and making sculptures. You can also invent a new kind of art with it. Freeze ice in a mold. At last, Dr. Botany brings the ice and the most spectacular part begins. We will need paint and salt. Let's start the ice art experiment. Sprinkle an ice heart with salt and add a drop of paint on top. You get awesome colored tracks. They look like colored lightning and different shades. Professor Adam is happy with the result. This kind of art is very beautiful, although it ends quickly. We need to write down our results as fast as we can before the samples melt. It's boiling hot in our lab. It would be great if someone comes up with a perpetual air conditioner. Professor offers for me to cool down with tomato juice. I'll pass, thanks. And what about tomato ice cream? Take ice cream out of a wafer cone. Mix it with tomato juice. Put it into a fridge to harden. Fill the cone with the tomato ice cream. Dr. Botany tries out the new ice cream. Hmm, I definitely feel tomato in it. 
This ice cream would be a nice match for pizza or salad. Professor Adam made cooling lemonade, but the only thing you can taste in it is sour lemon. Yuck! No wonder, because we are out of sugar. But we've got a Chupa Chups, who said that you couldn't make a sweet drink out of a lollipop. Unwrap Chupa Chups lollipops and put them into a Ziploc bag. Run, candies, run! Crush them with a hammer. Put the candy powder into water and mix it until it's completely dissolved. Pour the concentrated syrup into a bottle with some water. The only thing left to do is to add slices of lemon into our beautiful pink drink. Add water and pour it into cups. It smells like Chupa Chups and the taste is amazing! Meet the new cocktail of the summer. It's pink Chupa Chups flavored lemonade. Professor Adam conducts new milk experiments. She's going to find out how a cow's bad temper can influence the quality of milk. But her clumsy colleague, Dr. Botany, spoils the experiment. Well, now Professor Adam will have to study the reaction of milk to vinegar. It looks like we will need a sifter to continue the experiment. Add a few spoons of vinegar to a few cups of milk. Stir it nicely. The milk clots right away. Strain it. Put the quark mass you get onto napkins. Dampen it on the top. Put the quark into molds when there is no more liquid in it. Compact it nicely. Take the mess out of the molds when it hardens. You get a dry and hard substance. Who could have thought that liquid milk can turn into milk bricks? This cow definitely has strong character. Let's get down to experiments with pomegranate juice. We've got a lot of work to do. We will find out how pomegranate juice reacts to different agents. So let's get started. Press a fresh pomegranate nicely so that the seeds inside pop up. Squeeze out pomegranate juice. Add some water. Pour the juice into different cups. Add baking soda to the first cup. It makes it foam and becomes dark right away. Pour vinegar into the second cup. The reaction is almost unnoticeable. The color of the juice becomes slightly orange. Mix the juice, baking soda, and vinegar in the third cup. The juice darkens quickly and there appears a lot of foam and bubbles. It's fizzing so much! Professor Adam has never expected to get a result like this. Then the juice gradually becomes lighter. Add iodine to the fourth cup. The juice turns brown. Pour ammonia into the fifth cup. Bright red pigment anthocyanin, which is a compound of pomegranate juice, turns green. In the last cup, we've got clear juice for comparison. I can't decide which of the pomegranate juice is better, brown or green. We write down all the results. No pomegranate experiment had ever been as thorough as the one we carried out in our lab. But we are not going to taste this juice for sure. Who said that chicken eggs are very fragile? On the contrary, we are going to stand on them for the purpose of a scientific experiment. Put a carton of eggs on the floor. Put your entire foot onto the eggs and spread out pressure evenly on a few eggs at the same time. The most important thing is to keep balance. I did it! Professor Adam is amazed about the results of the experiment. These eggs are very strong. They are so strong that you can stay on your tiptoes. Look, this eggshell can hold anything. It must be made out of titanium. Nope, Professor just sits on a chair. The experiment is over. Did you like our experiments with food? Then write in your comments which result amazed you the most. Hard milk, green pomegranate juice, pink Snickers, or strong eggs. And don't forget to give your thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new experiments on the Troom Troom channel.